Good morning and welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer. My name's Scott Bailey and I'm the parish priest here at St Peter's East Maitland. We're praying today in the Barnabas Chapel of St Peter's Church on this day when the church remembers and gives, th gives thanks for St Barnabas. St Peter's Church stands on Wanarua country and our family pays its respects to elders past and present. Saturday morning prayer can be found on page 419 of a prayer book for Australia. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 101, which commences on page 326 of the prayer book. A little bit about St Barnabas. Though not named among the Twelve or the Evangelists, Barnabas emerges in the Acts of the Apostles as one of the most significant of their number. He sold his estate and gave the proceeds to the church, since all things were to be held in common, and he clearly became a leader. He is described as a Levite from Cyprus, so like his friend Paul, was from the Greek world rather than from Palestine. And he introduced Paul to the leaders of the church in Jerusalem. He was sent to Antioch, apparently, to guide the Christians there in their relations with non-Jewish converts, promoting the concept of all being one in Christ. He broke with Paul to go to Cyprus, and tradition has it, he was martyred there in about the year 61. So with the church across the world, we give thanks to God today for the life and ministry of St Barnabas. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We say the opening canticle, a song of creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 101, which commences on page 326. My song shall be of steadfastness and justice. To you, Lord, will I sing. I will be wise in the way of innocence. O oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house in purity of heart. I will set nothing evil before my eyes. I hate the sin of backsliders. It shall get no hold on me. Crookedness of heart shall depart from me. I will know nothing of wickedness. Those who secretly slander their neighbours I will destroy. The proud look and the arrogant heart I will not endure. My eyes shall look to the faithful in the land and they shall make their home with me. Those who walk in the way of innocence they shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall live in my house. No one who utters lies shall stand in my sight. Morning by morning, I will destroy all the wicked of the land and cut off all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The reading this morning comes from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning at the, uh, chapter 4, beginning at the 32nd verse. 
Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what they sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each and any as they had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We'll say the canticle, the song of redemption together. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Bountiful God, giver of all good gifts, who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others. Help us by his example to be generous in our own judgments and unselfish in our service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this new day. And we pray that you will give us your grace as we go about our work and leisure. Gracious God, we pray for your church throughout the world. Locally in our own diocese, we pray particularly for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We pray for our agencies and schools, and our parishes across the diocese. We pray with and for the First Peoples of our diocese, especially the Awabakal, Birapai, Darkenyang, Gaywegal, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. We pray for the ongoing conversation and journey of reconciliation. We pray for those who are leaders of our nation, in our parliaments and councils, and for those who serve in the public service. May all who work in public office seek the good of all and serve with integrity and transparency. Gracious God, we pray for those who are in trouble at this time, for those who are living in war-torn parts of the world. We are particularly mindful of the people of Ukraine and other places of war and conflict. Gracious God, we continue to pray for those who are unwell, for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. And we hold before you now in the silence of our hearts those who we know who have asked for your prayers, for our prayers, and seek your healing and wholeness. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who have gone before us, 
for holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as an example and inspiration to us. Today, we particularly give you thanks for Barnabas. We pray that with him and all your saints, we too may be brought to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom. Gracious God, we pray that you'll hear all of our prayers and give to us all according to our need. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful day.